What's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at a plugin from Waves that honestly, I'm surprised they didn't have something like this already. The plugin that we're taking a look at today is the brand new Waves Clarity VX. It works very similarly to what Accusonus had with its noise remover, although Accusonus uh, apparently got bought out and is no longer making their plugins or making new updates for them. But this is essentially a one knob noise remover. Uh, there is also a more in-depth version, I believe. Uh, I forget if it's called like a pro version or something else, but maybe we'll get to do a review of that one in the future as well. But for now, we're going to go right into it. This will be a very quick review considering that there are so few settings to adjust on the basic version. So the Waves Clarity VX, as you can see here, literally one knob and then a couple other buttons around it. What I really like too is that Waves has the descriptions along the bottom of what each thing does. So click to reset the neutral network. Uh, broad one, better for keeping voice details and secondary speech. There's a second uh, broad option. There's only the two. Uh, this is better for severe ambience, keeps mostly main voices. So this would be good in maybe a recording, like if you were maybe at a train station or something like that, maybe I can find some audio eventually to try that out with. Uh, then you have the basic uh, ambience control knob, as it says, turn right to reduce ambience. Then here, the white line represents the input signal reduction shown underneath in pink. So what we're gonna do, I have two tracks here, one of an acoustic guitar from a live recording just to see how much of the room noise it takes out, maybe any background vocals that you don't want in there. And then I have one of uh, literally a condenser mic set up in my room with the fan running. <laughs> So we're gonna make sure that the Clarity VX is in bypass and we're gonna take a listen to what this track sounds like. You'll hear some room noise uh, uh, and a little bit of the vocals in the background and then we'll switch it on and try it out with a couple different uh, settings. <laughs> And now we're gonna just start on broad one, turn it on, we're gonna put it all the way down and as the song goes, I'm going to turn it up so you can hear the difference in real time. And now let's see what it sounds like with the broad two turned on. The Clarity VX seems to really focus on clearing up speech or vocals, not so much looking for instruments. Honestly, if you're going to try and use the Clarity VX all on an instrument, Broad 1 seems to be the better option. When you put it on Broad 2, it seems to search more for a voice, whether it be speaking or singing. Uh, it almost actually pulled out the singing voice that was buried in the background of that microphone beneath the acoustic, rather than focusing on what the acoustic had to offer. Before we move on to the second section, there is something that I always like to see with these three lines here on the right. You can adjust the size of the GUI from 75% to 100, all the way up to 200%, but honestly, like 150 where it was is probably the best for now. You can also turn off all those tooltips by going on the right there. I think it's really helpful, especially when I'm starting with the plugin. I won't turn that off for probably like three or four sessions uh, unless I get really into it very quickly. Next, we're going to go to this pass I did here. Again, the Clarity Vox is off and you'll get to hear all the fans and then me speaking. 
I am currently in the noisiest room in my apartment right now with a fan running and you can hear the hum of something my neighbor has running at the moment. Okay, so very noisy. Like I said, I have my fan running literally right next to my head while I did this. Uh, but let's go ahead and turn the clarity on and then we're going to slowly going to bring it up. I don't think we even need to try the broad too, considering this is going to be very basic in terms of ambience and background noise. So the broad one should cover everything that we need. I am currently in the noisiest room in my apartment right now with a fan running and you can hear the hum of something my neighbor has running at the moment. I am currently in the noisiest room in my apartment right now with a fan running and you can hear the hum of something my neighbor has running at the moment. I'm very impressed actually at how much this clears up the fan, especially when I'm talking and it even recognizes when I'm not talking that that is a noise that needs to come out. That's why I think this is more focused on a voice because it knows what frequencies a voice is going to be coming through and also it's looking for speech patterns. It's, I don't know how they programmed it, but it's really cool. With some noise removers that I've used in the past, uh, I've noticed that while it's taking out any background noise, it starts to shape the vocal a little bit. So you'll see a worse low frequency response from the voice in an EQ. And it doesn't seem like there's any change in the voice when that's happening. It could just be how the voice was recorded. I don't know, uh, but I haven't tried probably as extreme of vocal recording as I could for this. I wanted to get the basics and see how good this was at its core. One last thing before we call it, uh, there are presets that you can go with. Uh, there's obviously the full reset, uh, reduce light constant noise, but you shouldn't need any presets to go within this. It, it's one knob you adjust. If you have trouble with that, then maybe you need to start spending a little more time with your plugins. But thank you guys so much for watching. This is a cool new plugin from Waves that I'm probably going to be adding to my collection as soon as I see it go on sale. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any suggestions about plugins that I can try out in the future, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you want to see me try out. Leave a like. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe. I've got a lot more of this on the way. I try to get a review out every Tuesday. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next Tuesday.